debt. Veterans are supposed to get benefits if they become disabled because of their service, but the federal agency that handles those disability claims is becoming increasingly bogged down by delays that can leave veterans waiting for years to get their benefits. Local veterans frustrated with the Veterans Administration that left them waiting. It was the subject of a Fox undercover investigation in 2009. The VA is just dragging, they, they, they're just dragging this out and dragging it out. It's gotten to the point where when I see a letterhead that says JFK Federal Building and the VA's logo on it, I cringe because I don't know what they want next. Back then, the Boston VA had a backlog of more than 4,000 pending claims. But that figure has now skyrocketed to nearly 8,000 claims. It's a problem that's caught the attention of Senator Scott Brown, who hosted a hearing Monday on the VA's backlog. Brown, who's a member of the Massachusetts Army National Guard, heard from veterans who say they feel like they're fighting a losing battle here at home. Veteran Paul DeMeo was injured serving in Iraq. I will live with this brain injury for the rest of my life. I'm still on appeals on some claims. I'm asking this current administration to help in changing the policies and procedures so no one has to go through what I've been through for eight years. Uh, we have to figure out why it's taking so long. It seems like the, uh, uh, the time frame to actually resolve a case is getting longer. The claims are getting uh, much more. And we've identified it not only through the veterans agents and through just interactions with our office, but obviously hearings we've had in Washington. And I felt it was important to you know, figure out if we can come up with some solutions. Senator Brown sits on the Senate Committee on Veterans Affairs, and he's promising a top-to-bottom review of veterans' benefits. I'm Mike Bodette, 